Good afternoon, everyone. It's Carlene. Um, I would just uh, like to come on and uh, just show you some things I've picked up from a couple of places and uh, projects. But first, I would like to let you know about Tina App on YouTube is having a giveaway. So it's hashtag Tina App giveaway. Starts today, runs till April the 11th, 2022. Uh, you must be 18 and older. Um, you must be a subscriber. And what she would like is if you could decorate a index card and send it to her. Um, on the back, could you put uh, your name, address, a little bit about yourself, uh, your birthday, if you wish, so she can send out happy mail to you. And um, something about yourself, like um, if you're into horses or you love flowers, your favorite color, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, go check her channel out for more information. And um, if you haven't subscribed and you do subscribe, make sure you stick around. She is a awesome journal maker and she makes beautiful dangles. She does gorgeous tags. Um, yeah, she does hauls. She, she does all sorts of things. And uh, it's a really fun channel and she's a sweet lady. So make sure you check her out. The prizes will be, uh, there will be three and she has um, all three will be one of her amazing journals. So please head over and check her channel out for more information. Okay, so I have here some of these little charms. Or I'm not sure what they are. They're flat back and I don't have a thing on the back. But I got a bag of those. So, you know, I'll probably be sharing those. You probably be getting some. Um, I also got, I don't know what color this is. Onyx Pearl, um, liquid pearls. I got, what's the names? Dirty Bronze. I got Metallica, Metallic. So I going to check before I take this out of the bag because I think I have this one and so on and I will have to send that one on. I also got this golden sparkle. Now it's a, it's a powder, shimmer powder and um, I didn't order this one. I thought it was a um, I thought it was Nouveau Drops and for some reason I got two. So I'll be sending one out, but I found out when I looked it up that it's actually really fun to play with. So all you do is now, sometimes this comes out too much, but just try and lightly sprinkle some on here. Oh, so I'll just do that. And then you just take a little bit of water and can you see this? Sorry. Can you see what it's doing? It spreads out and has all these really pretty colors. So yeah, so there's lots you can do with it. Um, it's quite fun. But this girl, she's Canadian, she's on YouTube. I can't remember her name. But she is also uh, showed how to use this. Now this is um, LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. And it's at the Dollar Tree. And it does the same thing because it has that mica powder in it. Now um, she takes the back off and um, puts it into another container because it's pretty hard to get it out of here because it's just a little slit down there and just a little bit comes out but i will put it into a container today but just haven't had time and i wanted to show you this so there's other colors there at the dollar tree too but basically it kind of does the same as the uh, nouveau um, powder shimmer and it will spread 
and has pretty colors as well. Now, I don't know if I'm doing it any justice, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. So there's that. Then, uh, let me see, I was to the Dollar Tree and I picked this stuff up for the grandkids and uh, it comes with a little wooden stick and you just scratch the black stuff off into a pattern and uh, you get a really cool picture. That's one I did with the grandkids. So it's quite neat. It's actually kind of fun to play with. So I picked that up. Uh, I picked these up because I have a project in mind for these. I picked two of these up, but one pack was bunnies and the other pack was eggs. So I split them between families for the kids. Then I picked up these letters. They're very pretty. Over to Staples, um, I was looking for special paint markers and seen they had these in and um, they're all different flesh tone colors. And they also have the markers to match. And when I'm coloring, the little girls, um, I don't ever seem to have the right color. And I, when I do color their faces and their arms and that, they look like they have a sunburn. So yeah, I picked those up. Project, I was watching Thelma Hall and she was making some of these little flowers and they are so fun that I ended up making a pile of these. They're really kind of fun just to sit and watch uh, TV and you just punch the paper, fold it and glue it on, add a little something in the middle. And uh, yeah, now I've seen people make these kind of flowers as well, just out of um, book pages and they always look really cute. And uh, so I tried them, but for some reason, mine always seemed to turn out looking like book pages garbage. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody else's looks neat, but then I was watching um, uh, Country Girl Craft fir First Crafts. Country Girl First Crafts. And she was making some of these rosettes. This is my first one. I uh, used a skewer, wrapped a ribbon around it, but didn't really care for this one. I should maybe put a bow or something on it. Then I uh, made some more. So I made this one. And use the straws. So these are fun to make. And they'll be fun just to put in projects for Easter. It's nice and bright and springy, cheery. like like cherry so I made those yeah so that's about where we're at for now um please go check Tina's channel out and learn some more about the giveaway and uh, we'll talk to you soon bye for now